Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm doing a little flashback to our street vending days. In the early 90s in Montreal we were selling jewelry on the streets and this is one of the popular designs of rings that we were selling. Uh, this one it's just made with a single piece of wire and it's actually glued inside the bead. So we had fun making these with heart beads and dice beads and plain beads and I will show you how to do that today. What you're going to need for this project is your wire. I have some 18 gauge tinned copper or gold color artistic wire. I have some 20 gauge stainless steel wire, a variety of beads, either four millimeter or six millimeter, and my tools, and I have a ring cone, and I'm going to use the E6000 glue, or you can use any jewelry glue of your choice. For this one, I've got four inches of the stainless steel 20 gauge wire, and I'm just going to wind it. Make sure it's about the right size. You can make it a little bigger if you want. And then I'm just going to separate the wires a little bit and take the pliers. You can leave, straighten that one out a little bit. And then the round pliers, I'm gonna bend it down that way. Bend it there and then put it underneath that one. And then this one here, we're just going to bend it separate a little more if you have to and then bend it kind of back that way. Now the idea is we want these lines to be kind of like one on top of each other kind of like that and then we're going to cut them flush. So if you're using steel wire don't use your best cutters. You can use memory wire cutters if you want. I'm just going to cut a little lower down on my cutters and then this one you want flush like around the same length. So we're just gonna cut that there. So these are kind of gonna match up in the middle. They're flush there. And then you're going to get a bead to go in the middle. So I'm gonna use the heart bead for this one. And what I'll do is I'll first put a bit of the glue on one side, just a little dab. And then we're gonna stick the bead on there. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue on the other side. So I'll put just a little bit of glue on the other side. It's a bit of a mess. And then we're just going to stick it in that end. So now the ends are inside. They're touching in there. If you need to, you can clamp it. Otherwise, if it looks like it's going to stay, you can just let it dry like that. Then once the glue is set, you're going to be able just to put it on like that. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.